Hello everybody and welcome to another Diaclone review. I haven't done a Diaclone review in absolutely ages. To be honest with you, I kind of stopped collecting them. And then my Patreon supporter and friend Jake, he got hold of that kind of Optimus Prime hybrid that they've just done. And I thought, oh, started looking and I'm studying film at university and we just watched Alien again and I just watched Aliens this morning as well and this kind of has that kind of power loader mech suit vibe to it all and really kind of rekindled the Diaclone romance <laughs> uh, much to my wife's disapproval <laughs> uh, as you see on the box here other figures in the series oh, some of those are looking so good now and obviously this can be used as that kind of power up armor you can chop and change. Let's crack this open. Like all Diaclan pieces, they come packaged in a plastic clamshell. We've got the mech suit, we've got our pilots, and you've got all of these gorgeous add-ons. It really does remind me of one of the power loaders. Here we have everything out of the package, and now it's basically time just to build it as you see fit. The instruction manual is absolutely massive. There's loads of different variations. We've got tank modes, we've got maneuver modes, we've got bullet modes. We have got arm units, crawler units, secondary arm units, and averse formation. Loads of different variations. It's just mixing and matching and making things work. Of course, like all the Diaclones, we get a pilot. This one's sporting a lovely silver finish to his mask. And of course, we do get magnets in the feet. <laughs> Which is probably just as well because they don't like standing up. Uh, we do get this lovely mech suit as well. Leaps and bounds to what they used to be. Open up this and we can pop them inside like so. And then just to close that off. Got lots of articulation here. Lovely butterfly joint on there, rotation, bend on the elbow all the way up, rotation on the wrist as well, even articulated fingers. Look at that, that's wonderful. Uh, a little bit of waist rotation in there, abdominal crunch as well, legs and come forwards, back, double jointed knees, pivot and up and down, claw actions on those feet. So you've got heel and toes really nice suit got this tank section uh, does anybody remember guzzler <laughs> really reminds me of that uh, this can just come in and there's a tab on the back there it's going to tab oh he says come on going to come over and that should tab in push like so and now we can bring that tank cannon piece over. Love the treads on the back there. Pack heavy? No, not really. Really nice, sturdy feet. Uh, the perks of having really wide foot base. While we're here, we might as well add a couple of weapons on. Uh, we've got these lovely launchers there. It's kind of really armoring himself up. I mean, to be honest with you, the biggest selling point of the Diaclone line, in my opinion, is the versatility. You can basically get a set, same set as your friend, and you could have it look completely different. And I mean completely different. Uh, for example, I mean, we could take the legs off here as well, just unplug those, bring the loader section in, remove the tank base there, and pop that on. So we've now got this kind of tanked now, lower section on there as well. Or of course, we can have this as its own separate unit. Everything kind of comes around using the secondary handle here. You can dual wield the guns and using that butterfly hinge. Uh, let's bring those legs back in, tab those back in like so. We can detach the backpack. We can fold these front pieces up, fold this panel up, and then using these holes at the front, we then have kind of a rolling little tank dude 
as well. All right, let's take a look at this arm unit, shall we? We can extend the base, make it a lot more kind of stable, and then bring these pieces forward as well. So they come right out to the front there. I have to apologize. You can probably hear my neighbors are still banging. They're building some sort of a bar structure in the back garden. Size of this thing, you've got big claws, you've got some kind of cannons working away at the front there as well. You've got a little seeding position here with a small control panel so we can put our diaclone pilots in there. I love the contrast between the maroon and the yellowy orange as well. Almost reminds me of kind of that Costco Armada Prime. Let's come around to the back piece here and again we've got these modular sections so we can just add these small little upgrades on let's take this panel off and take this panel off bring these around these are going to tab in to the back here so now we've got these nice open sections on the front we can put uh, say like a cannon on here or we can put any kind of chopping blade on there as well and this is not even his final form <laughs> now this is my favorite look for him this is my kind of power loader that i got so he's got these treads at the base here he's got the tank treads on the back here, which we can actually slide out if you want to make it kind of look a bit wider and i've got him gripping on to these huge power arms you don't have to you can actually bring in the tank piece and have that as kind of a gun as well we could have the blades on there you could have the guns on there these are all added pieces as well that we can place together it's a really nifty nifty do anybody still use the word nifty i do there we go <laughs> it's a nifty little set and i really enjoy it there's lots you can do with it uh, do i go down the diaclone route again because these are really fun it's way more enjoyable now than when I first started collecting them. There's just so much more you can do with them. Come on, persuade me. <laughs> Get me back into this line. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on these little sets. And until next time for myself and the rest of the Collectibles household, thank you all for watching. Goodbye.